Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the lowest cost penalty method of solving a transportation problem. The same problem I have used the uh, northwest corner rule to solve. Now in this case I'm going to use the another method of solution which is called as a lowest cost penalty method. So in this case what we do is we try to find out the minimum cost and start allo allocating the transportation, uh, uh, sorry, start allocating the number of units from that particular cell rather than starting from one particular cell like in the previous case we started solving the problem from northwest corner but in this case we'll try to find out the minimum cost cell so if i look into the cost of transportation here the minimum cost cell is this one and this one so i have a cost of one and one in both places so i can select any of them let let us suppose i select this one you can always feel free to start a solution from here and in this cell, if you see, what is the capacity of plant P2? 8 units. And what is the requirement at warehouse 3 is 18. So I cannot supply more than the capacity. So I'll be only supplying 8 units. Or you can think about the minimum of supply and demand. And I allocate the unit here. So I identified the minimum cost cell in first go. And I have allocated the number of units to that particular uh, cell. So if you look into this thing, the plant P2 was having capacity of 8 units, which has been consumed in market W3. So it has no role to play in the solution anymore. Plant P2 was having only 8 units and all of them were supplied to warehouse W3. Now again, the step 2 is again search for the minimum cost cell. So minimum cost cell is this one once again. So my next allocation is going to go in here. So if you look into the warehouse 1, its capacity is 7 units, while plant P4 is having 14 units with it. Because for this cell, the plant is P4 and the warehouse is W1. Since it requires only 7 units, though P4 has 14 units capacity, but it requires only 7. So I'll be shipping only 7 units because I'm not supplying more than requirement. Again, I have to check whether this is a balanced transportation, or not, uh, transportation problem or not in the beginning. And I can only always see that capacity here is equal to requirement. You can see it from the previous video and how I discussed it. So I'm not discussing that particular thing here. So seven units were required at warehouse W1, which all were shipped by plant P4. And I start searching for minimum cost cell as usual. This two is here, the minimum cost cell. And this two is here, so I can pick any of them. Let me start with this two. Can I do that something here? No, nothing, because warehouse W1 was having seven units requirements and all are shipped. So W1 has no role to play in the solution. So I am left with this two. Now you look into this thing, plant P4 has a capacity of 14, out of which seven has already been given to W1. So it is left with seven units only, one thing. Second thing, what is the requirement of W3 here? 18 units. Out of 18, 8 has already been shipped. Since 8 has already been shipped, so there is no possibility that I can... Uh, so how many units it requires? So W3 requires 10 more units. And how many are left with P4? 7. So there is no possibility that P4 can supply more than 7 units. So P4 can only supply 7 units. Though it was requiring how many? 10. Because it, it got so far only 8. So P4 doesn't have anything. So all units are shipped from P4. 7 to W1 and 7 to W3. Let's again start searching for the minimum cost cell. Now I am reached to these two, three. Three is here, three is here. This is already done. W1 has already satisfied with all the demand. I am left with this three. Now again, P2 has nothing to do with it. So I cannot make any allocation neither in this cell nor in not, neither in this cell nor in this cell. So I'll again search for the minimum cost, which is one four four is here, and four is here. So let me pick up this four here. So I'm going to make some allocations here. So if I look into this particular thing, plant P1 has five capacity of producing five units, while W3 requires how many? Now W3 actually needs only three units. Eight are given by P2. 4, 7 are given by P4. So 15 are already given, requires 3 only. P1 has though capacity of 5, but it requires only 3. So all 3 units are given. And this is it. That means total demand of W3 has been satisfied. Now the, uh, uh, the another minimum cost cell comes here. 4. Now P3 has 7 units to supply. W2 has a requirement of 9 units. 
so it can supply all seven units here so whatever seven units speed 3 was having all are given to w2 now i'm going to look for another minimum cost cell now i'm left with this six here of course now if you look into this particular six here p4 has nothing to give so i cannot make any allocation here now the next minimum cost cells are seven and seven p3 again has nothing left the only thing left is two units with p1 and this w2 also requires two units so i'm going to allocate two units here it was having capacity of 5 3 plus 2 5 7 plus 2 9 the demand has been satisfied so the plan is supply two units from p1 to w2 three units from p1 to w3 uh, eight units from p2 to w3 seven units from p3 to w2 seven units from p4 to w1 and seven units from p4 to w3 so that's the transportation plan let us calculate the transportation cost now like in previous example it is 7 times 2 which is 14 plus 4 times 3 which is 12 plus 1 times 8 that is 8 plus 4 times 7 28 plus 7 times 1 which is 7 and 7 times 2 is 14 so 14 and 14 and 14 28 and 28 and 28 56 and then makes it 66 and to 68 and that 70 and uh, 76 and 7 goes out rupees um, 80 uh, 79 I guess I'm going to total it again is 83 I guess just check the total please so that is it if you look into the northwest corner rule the cost was uh, rupees 102 now it is reduced to 83 so lowest cost penalty method, method is anyways a better method from northwest corner rule thank you very much and uh, you can see the next video for vocals approximation method same problem has been discussed thank you